Hey best pally, I'm Allie, and I take cold showers. Okay, don't give me that face. I can feel you giving me the you're an idiot look through the screen. Hear me out before you think it's crazy. It's maybe a little crazy. And I thought so too, before I did it once. Once! It only took one cold shower for me to get addicted. Okay, in the title of this video I promised you a number of reasons, so let's start the countdown, beginning with the least surprising to the most. One, it's good for muscle recovery. This is the least surprising because you've probably seen professional athletes in ice baths after workouts. Cold showers are like a less miserable version of that. Two, it's better for skin and hair. If you've taken scorching hot showers, which I also have, you know, the kind that's like, you're probably sweating but you can't tell because you're in a shower, and also your mom is pissed because the amount of steam you're building up is peeling off the bathroom wallpaper, and also getting out is actually a relief because you're that hot. Yes, I can certainly appreciate one of those showers. But when you're done, you probably notice your skin's all dry. Cold showers are the opposite of that. They help you lock in moisture and tighten your pores. And now I sound like a beauty commercial. Only I'm not selling anything. Turning your shower from hot to cold is free. Now we're on to three. This one's kind of crazy. Cold showers help with weight loss. This is related to the science of thermogenics, which I won't get into because I don't science well. But basically, making your body heat itself up speeds up your metabolism. Your body's just like riding along, hanging out or whatever. And then you hit it with cold water and it's like, ah, oh, okay, I guess I'll do some work. And it helps with circulation. I take cold showers right after a workout, so I'm super hot, and all of my blood's on the surface of my skin because that's what it does to cool you off. Then when you take a cold shower, all that blood rushes to your internal organs to try and keep you warm. And that motion of the blood is what helps circulation, and it makes you feel super human. Which leads me to number five. Taking cold showers emotionally makes you feel dope. It's like an old-timey cure for depression. I say, Wellington, are you feeling down? Well then strap on your stripety colored bathing costume and let's go for a chilly dip. For real, it's a crazy mood boost. I get out of cold shower like buzzing. That's what hooked me on the first try and subsequently made me tell you about it right now. And finally, number six. Uh, James Bond takes cold showers too, so like clearly it's for cool people. Okay, like he's a fictional character, but it's for cool fictional characters. Okay, I take them, and I'm also probably a fictional character. Anyway, my challenge to you, if you're outrageous enough, is to take one cold shower. There are challenges out there that say, like, try it for 30 days. No, I want one out of you. And it's not even a full cold shower. Take your normal hot shower, and then for the last 30 seconds, turn it all the way cold. It will be a shock. Focus on, like, breathing steadily. Let it hit your back until your body is like, oh, uh, okay, now I'm fine. And then you can move to your front and acclimate there and then your face, and by then, you're gonna be into it. And you'll probably want to stay on the cold shower train, and then take another, and try upping the length you're in it next time. And if not, hey, maybe it's not for you. Maybe you're secretly a reptilian superhero. But like all of my health tips, you have to give it a shot and see if it works for your body. And then comment to tell me how it went. I can't wait for people to be like, this is great, my new superhero name is Captain Cold Shower, and all I do is take cold showers and fight crime! Or perhaps you'll comment, ah, I gave it a shot, and uh, Yes, Allie, you are an idiot. Which reminds me, don't forget to subscribe for more helpful idiocy.